Hello everyone, Reza here. Welcome to another how to video. In this video, I will show you how to use loft tool to create this object out of few curves. Now knowing loft tool allows modelers to model more efficiently and quickly. This tool skins a surface along a series of profile curves. So basically you need to have um, NURBS curves available and loft will look at the curves and the order of the selection and creates the surface based on that. Let's put that into a simple example and see how this tool works and hopefully you can use that tool to your advantage. I'm going to start with just a simple NURBS curve, put that in the middle, I'm going to probably give that a little bit of radius, pressing control D, move it up. And I'm going to probably increase its radius to something like 3.6. It's just too high. I'm going to lower it down a little and I'm going to keep an eye on it from this view right here. Press control D, move this up, set this one slightly lower radius and move this up probably 9.8 units. Zoom back, have a look. And with the curve selected, I'm going to press control D again, move it up, reduce this in size just a tad. Now with the new one selected again, I'm going to press control D, move this up 12 units and reduce its radius to something like 1.4, pressing control D, move that up again to something like 17 units, reduce its size one more time. And with the curve selected, again, repeat the last tool. You can press G on your keyboard, move it ever so slightly and just increase its radius ever so slightly. Now with that curve selected, we're going to press control D one last time, translate it in Y axis, pressing control D to bring this down a little, reduce its radius just a little translated down to probably 17.7 maybe and that should do it now once that's done you can see i'm kind of creating a profile of a bottle and again the design is up to you now the thing is if you make any mistakes and create nerves after you create all of this then you have to be very mindful of how you select things. Basically, you want to select from bottom to top. So with the shift held down, I can just go ahead and select all of these curves like that. You can see this one supposed to be inside the bottle. So I probably select the number eight uh, last. So one thing I can do if everything is in order, you can just drag and select everything at it. The selection order will be correct. But again, feel free to hand select this. The order of selection is somewhat important. So you want to make sure that the last curve that you draw on goes last based on your design, hopefully. Now with the modeling tool set selected, I can go to surface, loft and option box. We want this to be uniform. Auto reverse is on in case if there's any twisting happening. Surface degree doesn't really matter. We want to set it to cubic. Um, curve range, if you want to go 360 degrees, obviously that's the plan. For output geometry, I would like to get a polygon and that polygon I preferably would like to have a quad. Now, um, with tessellation method, I found it easier to just go with simple count and something between, I don't know, 250 to 500 will get the job done and simply go apply. And look at that in no time at all, we get an interesting design. Now, if you think this needs improvement, just simply change some of these attributes. For example, if you want to have a little bit of curvature in the middle with the tool selected and with the curve selected, you can just change the design and get the design that you like. You can do the same thing on any curve that you want. Now, once you satisfy and once you're happy with the result, you can just select the geometry and simply go to model, delete by type history, and history.
Now the history stack is gone. You can move the object to the side and you can keep that for later. Press control G and I'm going to call this curve and probably hide it. Now you can bring this guy back to where it was and there you have it. Press three on my keyboard. You can see um, we can now tweak a few things. For example, you can always go and select the edges, shift right click and just fill the hole select the face and just shift right click and poke and of course you can go in here you can select this one shift right click into extrude and extrude this a little bit from this point you can just continue with your design and get the desired look that's uh, a quick introduction on how to create loft i hope you found this useful and see you in the next how to video